are we going to bring these emissions down? And, and just to put the science in a, a slightly different context, people are familiar with that thin blue line that the uh, astronauts bring back in their pictures from space. That's the, that's the part of the atmosphere that has oxygen, the troposphere, uh, and it's only five to seven kilometers thick. That's what we're using as an open sewer. If you could drive a car straight up in the air at interstate highway speeds, you'd get to the top of that blue line in five minutes. And all the greenhouse gas pollution would be below you. We're still putting 162 million tons into it every single day. And the accumulated amount is now trapping as much extra heat as would be released by 600,000 Hiroshima-class atomic bombs exploding every single day on the Earth. That's what's boiling the oceans, creating these atmospheric rivers and the rain bombs and sucking the moisture out of the land and creating the droughts and melting the ice and raising the sea level and causing these waves of climate refugees predicted to reach one billion in this century. Look at the xenophobia and political authoritarian trends that have come from just a few million refugees. What about a billion? We would lose our capacity for self-governance on this world. We have to act. So in answer to your question, I would say we have to have a sense of urgency much greater than we have yet had and we need, have had. And we need to make some changes.